Okay, here we go. So does everybody have a copy of their posh paper or a pen and a notebook? That's what you need. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through um, the posh paper cover to cover, and we're probably not gonna finish it all tonight, so we may do like a, another video next week to cover the second half. We're gonna get through as much as we can before Zoom kicks us off. So, um, who here, well, I've muted you all now. Let me unmute you. Who here has gotten a transition kit? I have. Noelle, you have. have. Anybody else? I have. Is that Dana? Dana, yeah. Okay. And I have two other people on, but I, it doesn't tell me who they are. So, okay. If you have a transition kit, then you probably have had a chance to at least try and smell some of the products, right? So um, it's always really important for you to know all of your products. Um, so that way you can share them with people better. Uh, if somebody comes to you and says, hey, I have this issue and I'd love to, you know, brighten up my skin, what can I use? Um, then you are more inclined to be able to tell them um, what products would be best suited for them, their needs, okay? So um, they did the posh paper a little different this time around. They did it more like a catalog or like a magazine, um, which is kind of cool because it goes through and it talks about, um, there's one part in here where it has like a top nine ways to use posh products or something like that. So that's really cool. Um, but I want you guys to go ahead and turn to page six and seven, and this is going to talk about our chunks. And I just want to go through this with you. If you had an opportunity to watch the um, video that I took of David Weymouth at PremierCon, um, what I did, I went back and re-watched that video, and I went through and I took notes on things that he talked about. Um, I also took notes based on other things that I learned during that time. So I wanted to share those things with you. So um, let's see. I love you a whole brunch. This chunk. This chunk has a new ingredient in it, something we haven't used before. And it's called, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly, a lippy butter. Um, and what that is, is it's high in fatty acids. Um, it helps feed and moisturize and soften the skin. And it can also help improve your skin's elasticity. So if you have someone who needs more elasticity in their skin, this would be a great chunk to recommend for them. Um, it has it has a little bit of a floral scent to me. It also does have coconut oil in it. Um, this is considered one of our vegan chunks. It has coconut oil, orange peel, grapefruit seed extract, the alipi butter, um, and ginger root. Those are the main ingredients, but it's a little bit florally to me. Um, and I'm not a big floral person, but I like this one. So it's a light floral. And it also says cardamom fragrance, sparkling citrus and cardamom fragrance. To me, it smells flowery. Um, but that's, I love you a whole brunch. That's one of our new chunks. Um, another chunk that I wrote something down about was spasm. Um, if you got a transition kit, this one should have been in there, I believe. Um, this one has baobab seed oil, and what that is, is a skin moisturizer and protector. Um, it has antioxidants and it's anti-inflammatory properties, has anti-inflammatory properties, um, and it also is quickly absorbed into the skin to help lock in moisture. So if you have someone who has red, irritated, inflamed skin, this is a good chunk to recommend for them. Okay, this smells like mint and eucalyptus to me. Um, 
And that's exactly what it says on the side, mint and eucalyptus. I didn't even read it, but that's what it smells like. It makes me think of um, kind of like Vicks vape, Vapor Rub. That's kind of what this smells like. So there's that chunk. Um, what else? Rolling in the Deep. This one, when I first smelled this, um, somebody said, does it smell like Adele? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, I think it smells like Adele would smell. I mean, just, you know, the singer Adele. To me, this, if you had a chance to smell Dapper Dad in our um, Father's Day line, this smells like that, but with a feminine undertone, if that makes any sense. So it's kind of a woodsy scent. Um, it does have sandalwood, Palo Santo, and amber citrus. Um, and then the ingredient in this that is new is hemp seed, uh, which is derived from uh, a hemp plant, cannabis sativa. Um, it has high amounts of omega fatty acids. It helps relieve itchy, dry skin. It also has anti-inflammatory properties. And this acts as a moisture barrier. So again, if you have someone with really red, dry, itchy, inflamed skin, this would be a great chunk to recommend for them. I like it. It's kind of perfumey, kind of woodsy. It definitely the sandalwood, I think, is what I smell. But I really like this one. It's definitely a fall scent. Okay. Um, I don't have anything written down for Fallout Girl, but this is a fun one. This is a big hit with teenagers. Um, it's got the blackberry pomegranate. It's really fruity and fun. It does have pomegranate seed oil and cocoa butter, I think. Yes, cocoa butter. But this one's really fun. Very, very berry-licious. Very berry-licious. Uh, what else? What other new one? We have Vanity Pear. I don't have anything written down special for this one. Um, this is pomegranate and pear. It does have avocado oil in it. Some people sometimes are allergic to avocado, so you want to take note of that. This one does have avocado in it. This also has turmeric in it. Um, and... I think that's it. Pear, turmeric, avocado oil. So just note that this has avocado oil. But it's it's very light. Um, more pear than pomegranate, I would say. But it's a very light, light scent. So that's vanity pear. The other new chunk that we have, I don't have anything written down for this one either, but this is dive in. This one kind of takes the place of enlightened in my brain. Um, it's a very gender neutral scent. It's a very clean scent. Um, gosh, it kind of reminds me of something. It says sea spray, fruity floral, and musky amber. Do you know what this kind of reminds me of? Is um, Girls Gone Green, a little bit. It's like Girls Gone Green and Fresh Creamy Milk had a baby, kind of, in a chunk, if that makes any sense. But that's what this smells like to me. It's very clean, gender-neutral scent. Um, this has argan oil. It's hard to read. Argan oil, parsley leaf. It is made with certified palm oil also. So there's that one. I was gonna see, I don't think I wrote anything down for, with this one. No, I did not. Okay. I will, at the end, open it up for questions if we need to go back and talk about something specific. All right, next let's talk about Blissed Out. Who's had an opportunity to smell this yet? It smells like Sprite or 7-Up. It's a very, uh, has a high citrus level, but it's, I mean, this smells just like when you open 7-Up to me. That's what this smells like. Blissed out. 
Um, so the packaging on our scrubs and our skin joys are, is different now. Um, skin joys are eight ounces, scrubs are nine ounces. The packaging is different in the fact that it has the new, um, the new seal, which I've already taken off. Um, so that's different. It doesn't allow any leakage, which is good. Um, if make sure you let your customers know if they get one of these and they for the life of them cannot get this lid off um, It's because of that induction seal underneath So all they need to do is take a blow dryer to it for about three seconds or run warm water over the top of this for about three seconds And it'll be enough to melt the wax that's on that seal to pop this open. Okay, but this one in particular um, This is a very high citrus level scrub uh, where products that we use to have a lot of citrus in they would make the containers warp because of the citrus um, and these new containers um, are a, a PET container is what David said which means they will not warp with the citric acid in the, or the citrus level that this that is in here so um, these containers will not warp but this product in particular contains passion flower oil uh, which is high in essential fatty acids. It's going to nourish and feed the skin. This also has anti-inflammatory properties. It is rich in vitamin C, so it's going to brighten the skin. Um, and it is also antioxidant rich. And the scent itself, the passion flower scent, is supposed to induce relaxation. Now, to me, this smells very invigorating. This does not smell relaxing to me, but that is me. Your nose may be different than mine, but this wake once makes me like want to wake up and go. All right, so that's blissed out. Um, we have the new Raspberry Beret Snarky Bar. This smells, do I have this one open? Let me see, can I open it? This smells just like raspberry, and I think it's cranberry. Maybe it's grapefruit. It's grapefruit. Raspberry and grapefruit is what this one smells like. Um, so this one, I believe, scrubs with sugar. Let me double check. It's shea butter. Yes, this one has uh, sugar beads in it to scrub with. So that's this snarky bar. Um, sugar Mama is a sugar and sea salt body scrub. This is super duper sweet. So if you have someone who is not a fan of sweet scents, they are not going to enjoy this. This is a very foody, very sweet, sweet, sugary scent. Um, it smells like um, salted caramel, brown sugar, like super duper sweet. It's, I love sweet scents, and this is almost too sweet for me. Um, so this is a very, very sweet, sweet, did I mention it's sweet? It's very sweet. <laughs> um, but this is a sugar and uh, salt scrub. So it's going to help tighten, tighten your skin. It's going to give you more healthy, glowing skin. This is a very fine sugar grain. So this would be a great one to shave your legs with if that's what you like to use a scrub for. This, is, this one would be great to do that with. Okay, um, the next snarky bar is Sorry Not Sorry. If you ever smelled our Drop Dead Gorgeous Body Scrub, this smells exactly like it. This is one of my favorite scents. I love this. It's a very clean scent. Um, but this one exfoliates with oat kernels. So if you have someone who is um, has celiac or has gluten intolerances, this may be a product they, they are not able to use because it does have oat kernels. Um, it is, uh, the oat kernels are a gentle exfoliator. Oats also soothe skin and reduce inflammation and redness. Um, they can also help protect the skin's moisture barrier, keeping our skin looking more plump. So that is sorry, not sorry. And then the other new snarky bar that we have is this one. 
the dark side. May the snark be with you. Um, this is charcoal and shea butter. And I think it also, yes, it also scrubs with sugar. This smells different than Love the Dark. So if you have um, this scrub, this smells different. They don't smell exactly the same. We do have, I'm getting ahead of myself, but this AMU, these two smell the same. These smell exactly the same. But the Snarky Bar does smell a little bit different. Um, do I have this one open? Yes, I do. This one has more of a floral undertone to it. This one is a little more feminine, I think, than um, the Love the Dark. This says sea salt charcoal and shea loaded, very scrubby snarky bar. This does also say it has suc sucrose, so that maybe it scrubs with the sea salt then, because it does say sea salt. He didn't specify. I can find out. Um, it says musky amber vanilla and melon fragrance. So maybe it's the amber that I smell, but it's it's got more of a floral scent than the Love the Dark scrub. I will say though, my dad really liked this, and he's a manly man, so I guess it's not too florally. All right, what's next? How are we doing? You guys doing good? Taking notes? Yes. Thumbs up. Good. Okay. We talked about this one. We have another all mixed up that's new. I don't have it. It's called Bravocado and it has avocado fruit oil and carrot seed oil. And the carrot seed oil in it is an antiseptic and antibacterial. Um, it is antioxidant rich in vitamin A, which is going to help revitalize damaged skin. So that's for um, our new all mixed up Bravocado, which is an effect versus this is a fragrance. This just smells like Love the Dark, the scrub. All right, I am on to the hand creams on page 13. Um, I really don't have anything much to tell you about these other than, I think I popped all mine open. The seal, is different so you no longer have to open this and pull an aluminum seal off um, they are all sealed right here which I've already popped mine off but it's a little plastic seal and you pop that off and then pop this open um, that has allowed us to use less preservatives in our hand cream um, because you don't have to you know open it and expose it to air so that allows us to use less preservatives. You may notice that this, the new hand creams feel a little more, a little silkier, a little um, more powdery kind of. Um, and that's because we now have that airtight seal. Um, so that's really the only change. I don't have one that I don't like of the new scents. They all smell really, really good. My favorite is probably this one, Hello Sweetie. This reminds me very much of um, warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works back in the day. So if you have anybody who just really loved that warm vanilla scent, that's what Hello Sweetie smells like. Um, o Snap is more of a grapefruit scent, so think similarly to It Girl. If you had someone who was a big fan of It Girl or really liked the Summer Sparkler grapefruit hand cream, that's what this one is similar to. Um, it is a sweeter grapefruit versus um, It Girl was more of a florally grapefruit, so this is more of a sugared grapefruit. Um, All Fall Down, this one is pear and pomegranate, I believe. Pear and cranberry, excuse me. This one smells very pear-y. Pear-y. You know what I mean. This one smells more like pears to me than cranberry. Um, Happy Dance is pomegranate and bergamot. This one's hard for me to describe, I think. Let me, do, let me smell it. It's more pomegranate, I think. The bergamot, the muskiness is very much an undertone versus an overtone. So more pomegranate with a little bit of a uh, musky undertone. And then dress to chill is cranberry and orange. This is probably going to remind you more of like what you eat on Thanksgiving. 
very sweet, citrusy, and cranberry. So that's dressed to chill. Oh, and the other one we have is Boho Soul. This one is getting very mixed reviews. I like it. Um, it's a more of a masculine scent. I think it's very, it's a woodsy scent. Uh, it's a very sexy scent. Um, but people either really, really like this one or they really, really don't. Um, so that's Boho Soul. All right. Has anybody, this isn't in the catalog, but has anybody gotten this yet? Because this stuff is amazing. And if you don't have this yet, you got to get some teammates this month because you need this. It's the bomb.com. I need more. More. Okay. Lip balms are still caffeinated. Okay. They come in a bunch of new fun flavors. There are almost, uh, nope, hold on. Wrong thing. There we go. Um, these come in six new flavors. You can still buy them individually. So one for $4 or you can buy them six for 22. These do not count towards buy five, get the six free when you buy it in the six pack or the individual lip balms. Okay. Those don't count towards buy five, get the six free anymore. The only big change there. Um, our lip scrubs, they are smaller size. You will notice. There are almost no preservatives in these now because they are a much smaller size. Um, they did that so that people will have to buy them more often versus them lasting three catalogs. Because <laughs> the old ones last forever and ever and ever. I think I still have them from like four catalogs ago because they just last forever. So that's the um, lip scrubs. Okay, um, let's go on to, I don't know how much time we have left, but let's try to go through the new, um, the look natural, the new stuff, the new oils. So we have the two new oils and these have caused a lot of questions recently. So we have Dawn on Me and Call It a Night. So one is a daytime oil and one is a nighttime oil. Okay, um, they both can, contain squalene, which has antioxidant and antibacterial properties. They can uh, increase the skin's ability to retain water, which improves texture and tone. Um, David said to uh, this one, the colodonite has a teeny tiny little bit of olive oil in it, which makes this a little bit heavier uh, than Dawn on Me, which does not contain any olive oil in it. Um, they both should be used from the face all the way down to the chest. Um, he said they will help repair collagen and rebuild collagen. So um, his example was ladies, you know, we lay on our sides, we do this, this area starts to get stretched, right? Um, and so by putting the oil there, it's going to help repair and rebuild the collagen there, um, meaning we will look less leathery as we get older. And of course, you always want to do face and neck with those oils. Um, the daytime one, Dawn on Me, will hold makeup better than Call It A Night because Call It A Night has olive oil and olive oil sometimes will resist makeup. So um, since we don't have a primer anymore, he said this is not a replacement for our primer, but it will hold your makeup better than uh, not having anything at all. So um, these are very thin. If you don't have them, they are like water thin. Let's see if you can see. Did you see that little drop? And they're they're really not greasy. They, they soak right in. It's kind of an odd texture. Um, but that one little drop, you can see my, can you see over here how glistening that is? That was just from one little drop. So two to three drops will do your whole face, neck, and chest. Um, so that's those. I really like Dawn on Me. I haven't used Call It A Night, but I've been using Dawn on Me uh, when I get out of the shower. And that's the other thing I wanted to tell you. Um, 
was about whole lava love. It's somewhere, but you know, whole lava love. Um, this one. It is the Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. It is a great replacement for Complexion Perfection. So if you have customers who are upset that we don't have Complexion Perfection anymore, um, tell them, number one, don't worry, because it's going to be coming back. I don't know exactly when, um, but David did say it will make a comeback. Um, number two, if they don't want to use something like BFF that has a surfactant and a soap, uh, then definitely recommend them to use whole lava love um, it's gonna it has lower levels of surfactant it is very gentle and very mild um, and the other thing that David said is that we have to make sure that no matter what face wash we're using that we are teaching people to use the washes properly you want to use full palms like this when you wash your face so make sure that we are teaching our customers the proper way to use an exfoliating face wash. Um, he mentioned that, uh, you know, the dirt on our skin and the dryness that needs to come off when we wash is not seven layers deep. It's on the surface. So it doesn't take a lot of harsh, abrasive rubbing to get that off. It should be very gentle, very mild, using full hands versus two fingers because you're putting a lot more pressure doing this then you are using full hands uh, when you're using an exfoliating face wash. Um, and so the whole level of David said he uses that in place of a face wash. He doesn't use BFF. His routine is, we have 10 minutes. Um, his routine is in a shower, he will use whole level love. As soon as he gets out, still in the towel, he puts on the never grow up serum. And then once he is dressed, that is when he puts on the Dawn on Me. So he uses the Never Grow Up Serum underneath this. Um, and he said that's what works very well for him. He used to have very oily skin and his skin is now uh, regulated. All right, so I'm going to stop there. I think that's a good stopping point. Next week we will pick up on the specialty face page. I'm gonna go ahead and unmute in case you guys have any questions. I can hear you all. Does anybody have questions about what we talked about tonight? Kylie, this is yes. Shana. It's hey. really about like what we talked about, but just like I noticed when we were in the book on the chunks, mm -hmm. under the new ones, there's like letters that say RSPO and RA. Do you know what those stand for? Let me go to that page so I can see what you're talking about. We're on page six. And where does it say it? Oh, RSPO what? and RA. Uh -huh. Okay, RSPO is Responsibly Sustainable Palm Oil. And RA is Rainforest Alliance. Okay. I believe. Let me look at let me look at two of them. So I love you a whole brunch. <laughs> is RSPO, Certified Sustainable Palm Oil. And then Rolling in the Deep has RA, which is Rainforest Alliance Certified Palm Oil, which is also on the actual soaps. So I don't know if you can see this, Dana. Uh, Rolling in the Deep has this logo on it, which is Rainforest Alliance Certified Palm Oil. So that's okay. the thing that we use certified palm oil in this product. And then on the Love You a Whole Brunch, it is teeny tiny, but it's the RSPO symbol mm -hmm. back here, which is certified sustainable palm oil. So that's just the certifications for the palm oil that we use. Okay. I just didn't want somebody to ask me and maybe like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> No problem. Anybody else have a question? That was a good question, Dana. Nobody has questions? Nobody, nobody? 
Really? I expected y'all to have a bajillion questions. All right. Well, if nobody has questions, we'll go ahead and end. Um, if you think of questions later, go ahead and pop them on the team page. And then next Monday, we'll pick up for the, the second half of the catalog. Um, so, sound good? See y'all then. Bye.